Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk a bit about heart rate monitors and how they can be a really useful tool in your fitness regime. So like most gadgets, heart rate monitors come in lots of different models and the price can range from £30 for a really basic model or £200 upwards for really like top notch um, models that professional athletes would use. Just for your personal fitness I think a basic one is all you need obviously if you want to spend more money if you want to get into competitive running um, I'd definitely recommend maybe in the future investing in one but just starting off in fitness just for your own personal use I just use one from Biora I think it's about £25 on Amazon I'll link it below and it's not the prettiest thing to wear in the world but it is it just does what it says on the tin I'll just go through a bit about how heart rate monitors actually work and then I'll go into their functions and why you might want to use them this just acts like a watch but it's also the receiver of the information and it displays your heart rate on it and the actual thing that measures your heart rate is the chest strap you have to put it under your chest so it is a bit awkward the first time you wear it but you can barely tell it's there once you've started exercising and it's not uncomfortable or anything you can adjust the um, width of this to make it comfortable for you it's activated by the sweat in your body so before you start um, warming up when you're not really sweaty at the start of your workout you actually have to give it just a quick rinse under some cold water or warm water might be more comfortable just before you put it on just so that moisture will make sure it's reading your heart and straight away so when you get your heart rate monitor on this watch you can put in all your information so you can calculate um if you find if you google training zones or something you can calculate your minimum and maximum heart rate that is good for you it depends on your age and your fitness level um but if you put in your minimum and your maximum heart rate into this it will tell you if you drop down too low or if you go up too high it will just have a little icon just so you know um it rarely goes too low but it can go too high really quickly and if you're going on a steady run and you want to keep a good pace you don't want to push yourself too hard because then you won't be able to complete the distance that you want to and also at the end of the workout it gives like an average heart rate and a minimum and a maximum and if you put in your weight it also calculates the calories that you burned and this also calculates um, the fat in ounces that you burned which I think is really cool and is obviously a good motivator if you're on a weight loss journey or if you use apps like MyFitnessPal which I use um, I can record in my MyFitnessPal app how many calories I burned during a workout when you begin a training session and you press start it will record that session until you press stop again so obviously you can record how long you've taken to run a certain distance if you're wanting to get a certain time or you might want to run a mile and then record how long it, take, it took you to run and if you get a really advanced model and you spend a lot of money they all have um, GPS in so you can actually calculate your distance so if you're running say a half marathon it will um, beep at every mile I think or you can you know like how far along in the race you are just by glancing down it which is obviously really useful I would say that a heart rate monitor is absolutely essential for runners and especially if you're serious about getting into running and you want to run regularly even if you only want to run 5k's and 10k's and short distances I still think they're a really good tool just to keep track of your own training and 
just to make sure you're not pushing yourself too hard because it is really easy to run too fast especially when you're out on the roads and if you get out of breath really if you sort of go too fast you're not going to be able to finish the distance that you wanted to and you're going to be really disappointed in yourself when you don't need to be. In terms of general fitness I just like this as an extra sort of gadget um, because I am quite into fitness I really like using mine but I don't necessarily think it's an essential for everyone I just think that it's a good bonus to have. That is pretty much everything I wanted to cover. I will include a link below to an article on Runner's World um, which is also really useful and has more information if you want to go and check that out and I will see you in my next video.